scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. That the Lord just spoke to us. Let's hold hands and begin to pray in the spirit. Please, everyone, pray in the spirit.
It's a realm of your glory. It's a realm of your grace. I can see your mighty power moving in this place. We're in the presence of angels with God's glory on the wings. And like the voice of many waters, I can hear the angels sing. You are holy. You are holy. You are holy. You are holy. Hi, hi, hi. name of Jesus those people begin to come the power of God is coming on them right now inside here and outside there's no time to waste there's a lot to do in the name of Jesus I decree and I declare right now by the Spirit of the Living God in the name that is above all names for God has so highly exalted him and given him a name a name a name that is above every other name and he declares that at the mention of that name every knee shall bow of things in heaven of things in the earth doesn't matter whether you are in any of the overflows outside if you belong to this category the anointing of the spirit will fish you out it is by the power of the holy spirit it's a miracle service it's time to shift your life forward hallelujah Glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne, seated on the throne, you are seated on the throne, seated on the throne, you are seated on the throne. Listen. You see, my brothers and my sisters, you may not understand why God is calling this case. There are corrections that need to be made over patterns, over families. And many times it's amazing how God just flows and begins to minister to people. Because this may be the source and the root. You see, when God is dealing with issues, he goes to the root and deals with them once and for all. I'm taking time to dwell here. We'll pray for the sick shortly. But listen, like Pastor shared already, when he sends his word, his word is a messenger. You came with burdens, you came with pain. How else will you know that God is here? Except that his power is able to transform totally. 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 I'm still praying and I'm seeing fire burning this is what I'm seeing and the Lord is telling me that the chaff is being consumed this is what I hear listen this this the grace that anointing is coming on specific people I'm seeing so many people above up up there the chaff is burning the chaff is burning the chaff shabakatas kebarakatum is it not written in the word that every tree that has not been planted by my father the chaff is burning 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 
Kapali Parosa Kaparu de Shanakata. Now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Bring them out. Shalakata Bragada Barudia. Let me tell you, except God is not God. Whatever came with you this night, it must drop down in this place this night. For as long as he followed you here, then there is a God in Israel. Bring them out. There is a reason why we ask them to come. Listen, let me tell you. Let me tell you something. Your challenges are as powerful as the limitation of the grace that confronts it there are graces that are able to trivialize what looks like a mountain a mountain is not generic is relative to the grace that confronts it just allow me to do my thing by the spirit god is setting people free Remember, these people came for service. Remember, they sat quietly, not even knowing what is wrong with them. Hello, Madonna. Hello, Madonna. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right on this road. I'm seeing the angels of the Lord. I'm seeing at least two or three people. They belong to this category, this captivity, except God be God. This role, just right where I'm standing. The power of God will come on such people. Please bring them out. Right now, there is no room, no room, no room for limitation to remain. No room whatsoever. Hello, Madonna. He says, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach glad tidings to the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the broken hearted, to set at liberty them that are bound. This night enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Your pastor declared over you already. He prepared your heart. Now in the name of Jesus, for those who are outside here, those who are in front, and for everyone, I declare and I confront every spirit that is behind the mysterious occurrences of men's life. I stand by this apostolic and prophetic grace, and I declare in the name that is above all names, let them go now. Let them go now. Let them go now. In the name of Jesus, let there be total emancipation. Let them go now. I'm praying by the Spirit. There are still people in the crowd. And as I speak, the word of the Lord is coming to you. Be free. Be free. Be free. Lose from your infirmity. Lose from your infirmity. 
Lose from your infirmity. Lose from your infirmity. Lose from your infirmity. By the spirit of grace, lose from your infirmity. Shabakatos kabando sabres kadaba. I'm seeing a man of God in the spirit. We'll do impartation later on, but I'm seeing a man of God in the spirit. Already, there is a strong fire. This is a healing ministry that is coming upon one of the men of God. I don't know who that is, but the power of God is coming upon a particular man of God. I'm seeing that it's, it's the season has come to shift you into a strange order of the healing grace. A strange order. I don't know who that man is, but for sure the power of God will come upon that person. Whether it's among the ministers here or somewhere in the crowd. But in the name of Jesus, that grace, that grace, there must be a birthing of that ministry. It's, it's, no, no, it's not to come out on your own. That grace will locate you. Leave him, he's the one. He's not pretending. I stretch my hands. I don't know you, but I release an anointing upon you. Receive that grace right now. You step into a new dimension of grace by the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Is this man a man of God? You. Are you a man of God? Lift your hands. I see something coming upon your head like oil being poured upon you and the Lord says he's shifting you and enlarging your ministry I stretch my hands from here and I decree and I declare over you that grace such I'm seeing fire upon your head from your hands all over you you are stepping into a new level in the spirit you will never never be the same hello him Madonna Now, I don't know how we are going to do it. I will pray for those in front here to give way for others because what I see happening next, if we leave these people here, there will be a lot of commotion. So for all those in front here, you may not know what has happened to you, but I speak to the influences responsible for your predicament. I stand as one sent by grace. And in the name of Jesus at the count of three, I command those forces to leave you and your family. A correction of patterns. One, two, three. Go, go, go. Now, now, let them go. Forever, forever. Release your destinies. I command a correction. A correction of everything that has not been the planting of God. I cast my crown before the highest royalty. I am undone before your glorious majesty. You're the King of kings and lords. Of lords, you are the King of kings. You're the King of kings and lords. Of lords, your glorious majesty. Sulking Salama Sulking Al Jannah Iabo Nena Kawo Sujada Nena Kawo Sulking Let me tell you something pastor you will be amazed at the testimonies that these dear people return you know while this is happening their loved ones are minding themselves all of a sudden doors of jobs are opening and they may not know what happened what happened 
let me tell you my brothers and my sisters nothing just happens nothing just happens doors don't just open doors don't just close I never cease to marvel at the power of God and what it is able to do in the lives of people. The overflow outside please lift your hands just the overflow outside not the ones up the overflow outside lift your hands I will pray for you first and then I'll pray for those inside you know we spoke about speed yesterday or today this morning please look at me speed is a real grace If you spend your life it is a blessing for God to satisfy a man early S delay is not about delay it's about the ability of the devil to manipulate time time those are, I'm already used to our meetings I'm used to calling overflows names I was over, almost shouting a name right now we we'll call it the overflow outside those outside at the count of three i want you all to shout the name jesus now please be one another's keeper because as soon as you shout that name jesus the grace for speed will come on you and some of you will begin to run so just help them and bring them out so they don't injure themselves i don't know why god is saying we should start with them but these are the next sets of people and some of you here you you know you are not you are not lagging behind but you are not moving forward either so it's a deception it looks like you are not having any delay but you are not making progress this is this is this is a, an influence that africa needs to be free from that a young man of 40 is still in his mother's house and she's still feeding him he's praying in tongues he may even be a pastor it's not correct don't sit down and just laugh about it he says satisfy me early are you ready those outside my god one two three My God, please help them. Please help them so they don't enjoy themselves. If you can get some of them, bring them in front. I want to pray for those inside now. There is a grace for speed that must come upon our life. Now those inside and those at the overflow above i want to release that grace listen you may not be sick you may not be oppressed but for the sake of god and for the sake of your precious family please receive there is a real grace for speed there is a real grace bring those coming from outside there is a grace for speed that can come upon a man my brothers and my sisters that can come upon a man of God that can come upon a business that can come upon a destiny and shift you to a dimension that you will stand and you will marvel and say so God you can do this have you ever heard that a nation was born in a day but he said as soon as Zion traveled I want to pray for those inside now please listen whether you are an usher or not the ushers can only do their best the power of God will come on some of you and you will begin to run physically please hold them so they don't injure themselves and bring them here I stand right now in the name of Jesus and I decree and declare 
in the name of him that sits upon the throne, I stretch my hands. Receive the grace for speed. Receive the grace for speed. Receive the grace for speed. I release you speed. House on the road, speed. I shift you by the spirit. Please help these people. Speed, speed, speed. Speed to your destiny. Speed to your life. Shakata bakatos. Speed in ministry. Speed in your Christian work. Speed. No more delay. I cause the spirit of delay. Bring them out. Over your family. Any family here that is in bondage of delay, I release speed, 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 as you stand representing them. We terminate delay. the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Jezreel. He used his bare foot. I say it again. Anyone here that came for this miracle service, you have been tied down academically, tied down in ministry. I speak to you again. Receive speed. Receive speed. Receive speed. For then you will know that you met the Lord tonight. That's why your pastor took out time to teach you on the power of the word. The word is not religion. No. No. There is a grace for performance. Paul said we are not teaching you cunningly devised fables. There are graces that if you do not have, you don't have it. It's as simple as that. One of the graces that we so need. Speed. Shabarosia katabrandegas. Ekeleka rusa seasi. Shabrandegados. Elekata. Shabash. 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 Karosa si gadebara katose brandes. Jose Bush. Kalabarunde sabekata. Listen. I decree and declare upon these ones for you and for your family you will never forget this conference for the rest of your life you see listen let me tell you something please listen every time you see your pastor organize a meeting Please understand that it's not a ritual. No two meetings are the same. Religion is dangerous. You may lie to yourself that I won't come for this one. I will prepare for the next one. And miss your hour of visitation. Imagine these precious people now. That if they were not here. He said let his bishop break another take. Father, I speak upon these ones. They came for a miracle service. And I declare this grace for speed that has come upon you. Let it follow your families. Let it terminate everything that represents the name. Let it terminate everything that represents the name. I speak as one sent by God. Let there be a permanent termination.
I never marvel. I will never stop to marvel at what the power of God is able to do in the lives of people. The Lord is showing me people here who never finish anything they start. This is what I'm seeing. There is almost nothing you start that you finish. There are even families like that. The buildings of 1994 is still there, not completed. There are projects that are started spiritually and otherwise. You say I'm reading a book and never finish. God is Alpha and Omega, not Alpha alone. Why will he start a thing that he cannot finish? I'm praying right now that if there be anybody here, here at House on the Rock, Mina, I decree and declare that the spirit that is responsible for aborting progress in your life, I curse it right now. I curse it right now. I curse it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said that the hand of Zerubbabel that began this work, that that same hand will complete it. Tap this lady for me. May, go and write it. It's a month of strange breakthrough for your family. I don't know you, but I'm speaking to you by the Spirit. The month of May, by the Spirit of the living God, will terminate everything. Hallelujah. Um, a large amount of your money was i don't know if this was duped or something who is that come ah marvelous jesus both of you please make sure you understand what i'm saying i'm, I'm not just saying that money please please let's this is the church of excellence so make sure that i will pray for everybody i may not do one-on-one -on -one talk because I really want us to hurry up. I want to pray for the sick. But God wants to... The Lord is showing me a woman here. I don't know if you're a member of this church, but you are here one, two, three, four years. No child. No child. Married four years. No child. Who is that person? Married, no child. Whether you are outside or up the balcony please when you find that person just let the ushers locate you and then and then we'll pray for you i want to pray for you sirs. i don't know why god is speaking like this but can i tell you the truth that god is able to restore not just years but he's able to restore resources oh there are people following online Please make sure that those online are connecting. There is no distance and there is no um, limitation that comes with time. I just want you to believe. I want to pray for people right now. I'm seeing that it doesn't matter how, but I'm seeing very significant sums that you parted away with that has affected your life. But there is a God in heaven. He is a restorer. What does one of you have to do with police? Police. What is that? We were actually duped and we reported the case to police. You were duped yes, sir. and you reported to police. Are you together? Yes, you are a team. Yes, hmm. We are going to pray. The police are great people but there is only so much they can do. But we are going to pray. And God will restore you. There's someone, just one person that I'm seeing. It is not for you, but it's for your dad. Your dad was duped almost close to 10 million naira. Who is that? Your dad. Come and stand here. 
There is a God in heaven. Oh. Mm, there is a God in heaven. When you know God, there are certain fears we will not have again. God can veto systems and reach back to you. And this is what I want to pray. See, please listen and learn this. Every time there is a loss in your life, it is the prophetic that is assigned for restoration. Read the Bible. Every time people lost things, they didn't waste their time. They went straight. Whether it was a donkey that was missing or it was an axe head that fell, whatever it is, the moment they encountered the prophetic, that is the creative dimension that is able to draw these things back. I want to pray a simple prayer and please I want you to believe. There is a God in heaven and you will be surprised to see what happens. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for these people. You brought them out by your spirit. In the name that is above all names we decree and declare by strange favor I'm depositing a grace upon your life right now as I'm speaking to you may this grace draw strange resources I stand and I speak by prophecy strange resources I declare upon you right now in the name of Jesus resources that will bring you restoration resources that will bring you restoration in the name of jesus christ i connect you by the spirit to the gatekeepers of industries and i declare that you will find favor with them in the name of jesus christ pastor these three people you see i'm saying it in the open they are entering a season of extreme financial prosperity. One, two, three. These three gentlemen. I'm saying it in the open and before everyone. The Lord is bringing great restoration. You are into printing. That's what you do. Printing. Printing. Like you can print anything. Um... Are you sure are you sure you are into printing seriously or you are just where where hospital road hospital road hospital road i want to pray for you because i'm seeing god wants to prosper you seriously please shift sir mama i want to pray for you i don't know I don't know this our mother but the lord is asking me to pray for you i'm seeing in the spirit and the lord is telling me that this our mother is a very good woman but i want to pray for you because i'm seeing something that looks like an attack you wake up one morning and your right leg starts paining you and then you start limping gradually gradually and it affects you and you cannot go to work effectively and they will tell you you have rheumatoid arthritis then they will tell you right around you are already feeling pain sometimes at your back i don't know what i'm saying that once in a while especially when you bend there can be pains is that true ma around your back i will pray for you the bible says the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity this our mother is a blessed woman and we're praying and agreeing she cannot come for a meeting like this and just return back that i came for a meeting is there no god in heaven mama we pray for you in the name of jesus christ and by the power of the holy spirit your health is preserved your health is preserved your health is preserved your health is please hold up your health is preserved by the power of the holy spirit i decree and declare that no operation of darkness help her please the anointing is upon her in the name of jesus i decree and i declare it is over right now never to return to you i see the power of god on this woman this one lift your hands man an angel of the lord is pouring something that looks like oil on her and i'm seeing the lord is saying he's restoring and healing restoring and healing restoring and healing 
What do you have to do with your back? Restoring and healing. Restoring your bones, your bones around your lumbar vertebra. Restoring and healing you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Kalabara, you are the mighty God. Hey, Latobiju, you are the glory. Kalabara, you are the mighty God. Hey, Latobiju. Jessica, 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 I'm hearing a name Jessica, this, why are they here, these people, four years, madam, four years, how, how many years, seven years, ten years, if you find the one of four years come, but then we have to terminate this, a combined 17 years, no child, Even if it takes one year to represent one month, they still would have given birth by now. This is not about barrenness. This is about dominion over your time. Now, you see, you only have compassion when you put yourself in people's shoes. My dear sisters here, put yourself in the shoes of these our wonderful people. That you are married for 10 years, madam. Who is 10? 10 years and 7 years. I'm seeing light from her coming to you. How many years? 7. Yes. Because I'm seeing that it's the same thing that she has. There is one more person. I'm seeing four people in my vision. Four. 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 I will not stop you from going, but I'm, make sure you're married. Are you married? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Victor, excuse me. Let me talk to her. Kai. If you doubt that there is wickedness on earth, hold on. Hi. I, I wanted to minister, but I'm just seeing something. My Jesus. This is your auntie. Give her the mic. Please put the mic on her. Just your auntie. Yes, sir. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. How many years? 25 years. 25 years. Is it true? Yes. She's barren 25 years. Yes, sir. That's why I said, look at this kind of thing. When she got married, some of you here were not born. And now some of you are married and have children and left her. This one is not delay. This is an attack. Sir, you are standing for yourself. Where's your wife? She's not here. With okay, she's not here. How about you? I'm standing for my auntie, sir. For your auntie, how many years? Nine years, sir. Nine years. How? Okay, your your ushers. Father, we thank you. Thank you for this conference. If this were all this conference was about, Pastor, it is what it. What then is ministry? except for an opportunity to allow the power of God transform people. Was it not this man? It was you, right? It was you with the testimony of the child. Am I, am I, am I correct? It was in a meeting like this. Come, so that you encourage these people. Please come. You remember his face, sir? 
you remember his face some of you look at this man you may remember him that he stood like this one of the meetings just like these people is that true sir a herbalist vowed that she will not give birth a herbalist vowed that she will not give birth you you know the herbalist or you just had the, the, my, my wife told me okay that vowed that you will not give birth that she will not give birth that she will not give birth yes. and you came here truly speaking let me tell you there is a god in heaven i brought him here to just encourage you please i want you to believe god don't allow long-standing issues to make you believe that god is not mighty look at this our dear sister crying only god let me tell you this every man of god here i'm sure you've had the privilege to counsel couple with this kind of issue and you know how difficult it can be there are tribes that will not even wait more than two years they will just say mr man go and look for another wife you married a man not a woman so let's pray and watch what god will do The power of God is coming on one of you. You will be the first to receive now. Just before I pray. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm just speaking to you. That the moment that happens, I will speak to the rest. Just you people in front here. I'm seeing the anointing of the Holy Spirit. That's it. Now I'm ready to pray. I decree and declare. By the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit. Is it not the one who makes the barren to sing? and her that is without child to become a joyful mother of children it doesn't matter how many years for you and those you are standing for i decree and declare your womb is open to take seed whatever the medical condition is we change it now in the name of jesus christ the issue is not to find out what is wrong with who the most important thing is that there be an invasion of the power of god i'm seeing oil upon this woman this seven year madam that's it it's over right now this woman like that just like a dream something is being loose from your stomach this is what i'm seeing When our backs were against the wall And it looked to see if it was over You are three months overdue for your rent the landlord is harassing you right now right now as i'm speaking who is that you're a man of god you are the one don't be embarrassed come i salute your courage to come oh is it no this is not your house rent the one i'm talking about is his house rent but this hold on you are using are you using your a place like for both house and church is or, or so something. I'm renting both the church and the house too. The okay, you are renting both church and house, and both of them are overdue. Yes, sir. You see, this is a servant of God. There's nothing to be embarrassing about. These are the kinds of things that will make you go to the place of prayer and waste time but never pray. We are human beings that you, you stay near a window for a long time. People would think you are praying, but you are thinking. And yet you have someone to prepare. Listen, I, I speak to you here in the name of Jesus. The grace that must give you the focus to serve God in truth. May that grace come upon your life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Sir, I want to pray for you. Come. I will not just pray for you in my own quarter whatever i can assist you with to help you you see that because this this is a servant of god to just to just 
pray blindly and let him go the bible says withhold not good from him that it is due when it is within your power this is why you must ask the lord to bless you are we together now yes if you, you, you feel that there is there is a grace there is something you can do you can see pastor petrock after the service and say sir whatever i can do to support this man of god this is how the church is supposed to be but you can never help when you are in need yourself that's why you must pray that god will help you this is the purpose of prosperity not just for cars and houses an opportunity to be an extension of the love of god but sir we need to pray hold my hands we'll pray for favor but it must start with you you see you're a man of god and truly speaking this favor is not just for your sake but for the sake of your members because every member will reflect the grace and also the limitation on the man of God. That's why it's important for men of God to open up their hearts to access grace. Because if you are limited, even if you are not interested for the sake of the precious members, let the gates of wealth, let the gates of increase be open for you. In the name of Jesus. I call forth helpers, I call forth errands and horse to lift your hands in ministry. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. I can't remember why they are here. In the name of Jesus, even as I have declared, by the Spirit of God, return with your testimonies. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Celebrate them, please, as they go back. You are what's your name Jonathan you are the one with the printing business come when God blesses you make sure that the house of God benefits you know sometimes some of these people once once God honors you I'm not saying you come again this is your work you are born again you love Jesus Father, in the name of Jesus, anoint him by your spirit. Let the printing business have life. And in the name of Jesus, may you go far with it. And I pray for you. May the Lord honor you. You will be very blessed. Very, very blessed. This man. Very, very blessed. God will connect you. Let's pray for the sick. Let's pray for the sick. There are people here with terminal diseases. There are people here with situations that need change. Are you ready to receive now? Please lay your hands, everyone. If there is a part of your body that you're trusting God for a miracle, just lay your hands. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. This is so many miracles. So many miracles. This is what will happen. Please listen to me. I'm going to pray for you right now. And I'll take authority over infirmity. The gentleman that will shout under the anointing now. Um, please bring him out. There is a reason why I asked to bring him out. I don't know where but I just saw in my vision. A gentleman he was like an avalanche of power just came upon that gentleman like a wildfire whether it is inside or outside right now as I'm speaking it when that when that happens please bring the gentleman is outside I've seen it the person is outside Even if there are many people, this is a male that I'm seeing. Please, let's hurry up so that we'll save time. So let me continue saying what I'm saying. I will pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit, standing in faith with Pastor Pete and all the men of God here. As I begin to rebuke this infirmity over your life, what will happen is that the power of God will come and will touch you. Please listen carefully. 
and the moment you are healed we are going to give an opportunity release his destiny now in the name of Jesus and release his family right now release his destiny now and release his family now let it be done now and let it be done forever We'll sing it one more time and I pray for the sick. Make you make you make you make you are whether you are outside above us here the balcony you are by the pavement or following online make contact right now the power of God is about to touch you sense a strong anointing just give me volume thank you Jesus thank you Jesus I tell you there is there is such a healing stream that is just flowing right now a healing stream I take authority over the spirit of infirmity in the name of Jesus Christ do I have believers in the name of Jesus Christ I take authority over the spirit of infirmity in the name of Jesus just help those under the anointing. You don't have to bring them out. Right now I decree and declare. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Be healed now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. The healing power of Jesus is flowing through your body right now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Breast lump. Be healed in the name of Jesus lump in the breast is disappearing right now be healed in the name of Jesus a pain around the neck is being healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ you know pastor Pete shared about someone he was just giving an example I'm, I'm not sure he understood that he was speaking prophetically your left ear your left ear I'm seeing that you cannot hear very well in the name of Jesus I declare let it be open right now let it be open right now in the name of Jesus you cannot stand well on your left foot when you stand there's there's an excruciating pain that comes especially around around your your hip area here but the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ all blood conditions be healed right now hiv be healed every kind of malignant growth in your body within your system fibroid or whatever kind of lump i command be healed now the power of god is touching people now as i'm speaking be healed right now be healed right now the lord is healing my grain there are a number of people with severe pounding my grain be healed in the name of jesus hotness 
hotness around your body extreme heat as though they just plugged you to electricity the power of god is touching you right now be healed in the name of jesus christ there is a gentleman here god is healing now you are a man but it's as though you have menstrual cycle i don't know if you understand what i'm saying you are a man but you can urinate blood sometimes and it comes frequently right now as i'm praying i just saw this the power of god is coming upon you right now and is terminating that there's nothing to be embarrassed about be healed in the name of jesus christ The Lord is showing me there are a number of people here but particularly a woman when it is the time for your monthly cycle the pain is excruciating and unbearable you can you can continue to throw up and it's as if you will die I'm seeing you on your knees holding your stomach and just crying this is not just in quote what we call regular menstrual pain this 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 is a serious thing to the point that when it's close to your period you are you are you are already affected emotionally this has happened for many years right now you're going to feel like fire just around your stomach and then at once it will leave never to return be healed right now be healed right now be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ be healed right now the Lord is healing pile pile i'm seeing a very excruciating issue of pile a number of people the lord is healing you right now by the power of the holy spirit now i don't know what they call it but there's someone here you know what they call hallucination that means you can stand and see things you, you are not it's not like you are caught up in the realm of the spirit you are not caught up you are here but you can see things and sometimes you hear voices like physical voices you hear voices the lord is setting you free from that oppression right now i'm seeing someone here you can't sleep maximum two hours you are done and the sleep will never come you keep rolling left and right till morning i'm praying right now the lord is setting you free by the power of the holy spirit severe chest pain severe chest pain sometimes you cannot even breathe well the Lord is setting you free by the power of the Holy Spirit now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus be healed 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 the, the Lord is showing me something funny you went to bed and you had a dream and someone came to molest you in the dream you got up physically feeling as though you were molested and from that day your health has gone down you you can have different sicknesses whether malaria typhoid and then whatever else any just 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 a buffet of sicknesses here and there i declare in the name of jesus be healed right now be healed right now someone is being healed around the collarbone the power of god is touching you around the collarbone you are being healed right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ very very humorous condition there's somebody here you want to add weight this I, I, now please just allow me just talk the way god is you want to add weight even if you eat one drum of fats nothing seems to happen and it's, it's not just maybe slim feet your own is a disturbing situation here and there people have had to call and say what is what is going on i'm praying for you it's not by power nor by might you see god can be humorous sometimes just walk with him i declare let a miracle happen to you right now I want to pray for someone 
if I don't pray for you more than half of your teeth they will remove them eventually with what the Lord is showing me please listen very mysterious conditions and they will tell you they need to extract this starting with your molars and then they continue to extract your teeth and you are not even aware what is the problem in the name of Jesus I pray for you whatever that condition is I'm not a doctor but I declare perfection right now perfection right now there's someone I'm seeing he cannot easily go to toilet for a long time you continue to have pains around your stomach and around your bowels but it's as if you are not able to go to toilet this this is not exactly pile I don't know what the condition is but in the name of Jesus Christ I'm praying for you right now let there be a supernatural miracle be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ now our time is gone but listen many of you even while you came out here under the anointing the power of God touched you already there are people up there are people outside I'm going to ask you to check yourself now many of you will be surprised if you need to go out quickly to just check yourself in the restroom and for those who have received a miracle right now wherever you are I want you to file here or here just make your way quickly there will be someone to just attend to you and then we'll take that testimony ah miracles are happening lord you reign and you rule over all unto you we ascribe all the praise keep coming check yourself and come lord you reign and you rule over all unto you we ascribe all the praise lion of judah reigns lion of judah reigns lion of judah reigns lion of judah reigns Please, those coming from outside, allow them come. Clear the way for them. Are you celebrating miracles? Look at what God is doing here. You can use here or use here. Check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself and make your way out. Lion of Judah reigns. Lion of Judah reigns. Lion of Judah reigns. Lion of Judah reigns. Lord, you reign and you rule over all. Unto you we ascribe all the praise. Hey. Lord, you reign and you rule over all. Unto you we ascribe all the praise. Praise the Lord. Miracles. Miracles. As you check yourself, you can join them. We'll take a few testimonies right now to the shame of the devil. And remember that the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. That even whilst you are here, you can receive for your loved ones who are not represented here. Are we ready, sir? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Yes, please. Sir, there's somebody that was ill of the ear pain that you called out. The ear pain. Who is that? You were healed of the ear pain. Come. How long? Please let, let another person have. Okay. How long? Since birth. Since birth. Yes, How old are you? 19. 19. Yes, Which of the ears? The left ear. The left ear. Put your hand there. In the name of Jesus Christ, perfection never, never returns to you. It's gone and gone forever. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Many people were healed of the neck pain. Neck pain. That you called out. Yes. Okay. How long? Where are they? Neck pain. Come quickly please please join them very quickly join them very quickly we may not 
neck pain you were healed of neck pain how long three days sir. three days how are you it started this morning and how about you sir i can't remember how long. you can't remember how long but it's been there and right now check yourself it's completely gone yes, sir. completely gone in the name of jesus christ there is a complete restoration for you by the power of the holy spirit never never returns to you again in the name of jesus it will never return to you in jesus name give jesus praise she has been limping since secondary school she has the been power limping of God has touched her tonight yes. and what happened you show me come my god look please can you stand here let them see show me how you used to walk before And what happened now? Show us how you're walking now. Ah, come on. Ah, come on. Try walking again. Hey, Lion of Judah, Lion of Judah, In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is perfecting your limbs. By the power of the Holy Spirit perfecting you it will never 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 return to you again in the name of Jesus Christ yes please she had a case of fibroid and as you were praying she felt that something left her my God my God come how long it happened it started when I had my first child and the letter left my second and you're not child, pregnant now I'm pregnant Okay, you are pregnant. I said I have multiple fibroids. You have multiple fibroids plus the baby. Yes, sir. Ah. Let's remove one and leave the other. <laughs> Two of them cannot grow at the same time. Amen. Amen. Fibroid. Put your hand there. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we decree and declare that fibroid that threatens the life of this baby, let it live right now. I minister the life and the power of Jesus to you and I declare you will have a safe delivery and let fibroid live your life once and forever in the name of Jesus Christ forever it's gone oh we have two cues okay sir you talked of a case of someone who could not use the toilet freely and he's been suffering for you're the one sir three how years. long three years for three years I have to push like someone who wants to now, it looks very funny, but it's a serious issue. People have literally died because they were not able to go to the toilet. You will never forget this day. In the name of Jesus, set you free by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. She said her family has been under demonic oppression for over years now. While we were praying, the power of God came upon her. Let her talk. Pastor. How are you? My family has been on that uh, demonic oppression of late marriage. None of my aunties are married, just one. And the person that is married is just, that's just married. So, and my dad has been, yeah, he has um, diabetes. My mom, everything is not just going fine. And right now, when I came here, I was confused. I'm seeing someone healed of ulcer. Ulcer. Please check yourself now. You will find out that ulcer is gone completely. You will know it's gone because the pain you used to have around your chest when you breathe in and out is gone completely. Check yourself and you can come and join the queue. Yes, please. So when, when I came, the first set of people that came out, I felt this release in my spirit, like my family was free. And I came out and there was this release, like there was this release in my spirit, like everything is done. Where are you I'm from? from? I'm from Enugu, sir. Enugu State. In the name of Jesus, it remains permanent by the Spirit of the Living God. Yes, please go ahead. He had piled, he piled for ten years. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah. So, sir, I've been having piled for ten years. So that was last year after my appendicitis um, operation. It they operated you on appendicitis again. It came out totally, refusing to go back. In. So the doctor said. They actually gave me six weeks of a process to do that, to sit down on salt and water. And water that to sit down on salt, salt and water? And water, yes. That I, May 9th, if he doesn't go back inside, that 
I'll, they'll have to operate me. And that will be the third operation that I'll go for in my life. And I've prayed to God that I don't want to see theater for the second, for the third time. What happened this night? This night, although this morning when I went to church, it was very painful. Even yes. when I was standing. And I now? Stand. But now the pain has gone, but I touched it. The power was partially outside. Come, let's perfect this. You believe Jesus? Look at me. Stand up. Look at me. You believe it will go? You really believe? Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be over. Not only the pile, whatever keeps taking you for surgery, is that a blessing? Abba! A young man like this, you've gone to the hospital how many times? They continue. Now they say you should sit on salt and water for, for six weeks. As if you, are, you gave birth. You, you see that some of these things are not a blessing. In the name of Jesus Christ, we agree as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ that your, your body, your system returns to normalcy. Right now, in the name of Jesus, God bless you. God bless you. God, God bless you. Eat up. Toothache, toothache, toothache you talked about. Toothache. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you